Hello, welcome back to the Barrett channel. Today we've got a very different kind of video. I'm actually really pleased to be bringing you this kind of video, which is strange enough. But a couple of days ago, today is March the 9th, and on March the 7th, I was on the way from back from a friend's house at about 9 o'clock, um, and I'd been wearing my mask all day, my face mask, and um, it was kind of hurt in the back of my ears. I get this problem where it kind of gives me a bit of a headache when I wear sunglasses or anything, so just in the taxi, he had a big plastic sheet in front of him. So I thought, you know, it's safe to take it off, rest my head for, you know, 30 seconds a minute. It was only that amount of time before we went through a toll road booth and um, the police and whoever's there, the security guys have to check who's in the car and uh, check your temperature and stuff. So they rolled down the window and they all started freaking out because I wasn't wearing a mask. I didn't straight away realize what they wanted um, and why why they were freaking out, but then I noticed they were saying Ko Jiao, which means face mask. And I was like, no, 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 it's on my lap, it's on my lap. And it was all lost in translation. Um, basically, China are now really scared that foreigners are gonna bring this virus back into China. So they're on sort of high alert about this whole situation. Anyway, they told the, dr taxi driver to pull over and they were going to do all sorts of tests on me um, so I will just let you watch what happened because I documented the whole thing and I really think this is a good thing because it gets to it, get, it gets out there you know how China are dealing with this um, even two two and a half months down the line um, and you can kind of compare it with where you're from because, you know, this virus is most in most places in the whole world now. You can compare this to where you come from and how your government and your authorities are dealing with the situation and kind of, you know, make your own judgment. Okay, I'm just going to roll the clips now and, uh, yeah, enjoy my sort of three-day experience on um, <laughs> getting tested for the virus. So I was just in a taxi and uh, the police didn't look too happy with me so they pulled me over and now I'm in a mobile testing facility for the virus yeah you're right it's one of them I've got a thing, thing sticking in my arm to test me it's one of those things isn't it one of those things Okay, so they've tested me a few times and it sees my temperature is 37.4 and it's got to be 37.2. So I've got to go to the hospital apparently and follow this guy now. They've asked me to go and get to the hospital to get uh, checked out. I respect it, I respect it, you know, makes sense. Um, just a bit of a pain because I'm pretty tired. So I guess I'm waiting for some sort of vehicle now. So it seems I've got to go to uh, get in this vehicle now to get t go to the hospital and get tested because they weren't happy with uh, with me being 37.4. You know, you've got to respect the process, so it's fair enough. This guy was my DD driver, and he's fuming by the looks of it. It looks like he can go. I guess his temperature was all right, but we're getting in here by the looks of it. Jilly, man. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, well this guy's just told me to get in the taxi, so... I don't know what's going on here. I guess I'm going home. That's a bit of a turn of events. Oh. Oh, the Maya. Uh, so, I uh, see, we're following this guy to the hospital now. I was confused then. So this was my DD driver on the way back from where we were, uh, where I was before. And um, it seems that he's got pulled over as well. But it looked like they only have, had a problem with me when I pulled up at the, like, um, the toll road booth. Um, but they pulled him over and now it looks like we've both got to go to the hospital. But I don't think he's very happy at all. Because the only reason he got pulled over because they weren't happy with me in the back.
Okay, so we've got an infrared camera. Which is quite cool. Pretty interesting seeing my infrared. I just want to eat my Skittles. Yeah, you know, make me do another armpit test by the looks of it. It's all very official, which is very good. It'd be nice to compare this uh, experience with something in Europe. Hey, we're taking a picture of each other. <laughs> yeah, I think the DD driver's been allowed to go, but looks like that's that's his car over there, so I'm not too sure actually. But yeah, we'll see. Oh no, that's him. He's doing the test as well. <laughs> There's me on the old uh, infrared. Pretty cool camera. Just signing a bunch of papers. Now what I can see on that screen says 37.1. Now I looked up I looked up on Google and that is a completely normal temperature to have, so I'm a bit confused as to what's going on. However, I was testing over before, so I guess, you know, it's all good. They're only here to help me, aren't they, let's be honest. Okie dokie, now I'm following the nurse to some sort of facility. I hear Wygwaran, that means me. Not sure what's going on. Looks like I'm at the emergency department. Dun, dun, dun. So it seems because my temperature was high earlier, even though, um, I was just tested 37.0 and 37.2 is normal. Um, that's the highest end of normal. They still want to take me in for CT scan, throat swabs and blood tests, which is, you know, it's 11 p.m. right now. I've already, already been, I was pulled over two hours ago and it looks like this could go on for a while. <laughs> You know, though, every cloud has a silver lining, let's be honest. At least I get to show all of you, you know, what's going on and how the uh, procedure happens. <laughs> They're now telling me that I've got to have a CT scan, throat swabs, um, and that I've got to pay 500 yuan for it, which I've been back and forth with them about because, to my understanding, all coronavirus um, treatment is free, but apparently... Um, not the C CT scan and the blood test. So I'm not sure what that's about, but anyway, life goes on. Now, I can do the CT scan and blood test. If they're okay, I can leave and come back in the morning at 8 a.m. to do my coronavirus test. But if they're not okay, then it looks like I'm gonna have to stay here for the night. I asked them to test me again, and I've tested for 37.2 and They've said as that's below the threshold, they are a little bit concerned as it is wobbling about my temperature, but they're okay to let me go. They've said if I feel hot tonight, I need to come back, but I do need to come back at 8.30 in the morning for a coronavirus test. But thankfully, I'm allowed to go home and I don't have to pay for the CT scan and the blood test, which is good. So finally, after three hours, I can go home and go to sleep. <sighs> I'll update you again tomorrow. Okay, day two. So, um, I remember last night, uh, the, the doctor said that I needed to be at the hospital after 8.30. I thought originally he said at 8.30, but it was after. So, it's now like 11 o'clock um, and I'm heading to the hospital to get my coronavirus test. to get the test okay so I'm just gonna figure out where I gotta go I assume it's the same area as yesterday but I'm not too sure um, 
I'll ask over here, I guess. Can you help? So uh, tell me I've got to sit here. We're in some like kind of outside little thing. Get a pony or die in Gua, can. What's it all? Okay, so this little place behind me, you can see you put your arms through the little plastic sheet. Um, so I've just finished my coronavirus test. It was awfully quick and strange. Um, so this person's in a whole hazmat suit, you know, gloves, um, goggles, head gear, everything, the whole lot. And um, she puts her arms through this sheet and she goes, Ah, she's on about open your mouth. Um, she takes a really deep cotton bud and wipes it around my throat. Oh my God, I was nearly gagging. And then she did one up my nose. Oh, even my nose still hurts a bit, like right up my nose, all the way around. She probably got some nice crustaceans on her, on her swab. <laughs> but anyway, I've got to come back here at 11 o'clock tomorrow again to get my results. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're all good. I don't feel any symptoms or anything, so I think I might be all right, but uh, we'll have to see. Okay, it's day three. Um, I'm on the way back to the hospital. It's 11 a.m. Um, to see whether I'm in the clear or I'll be spending my next days in quarantine. <laughs> uh, so, so. Yesterday I had a coronavirus test. Okie dokie. I had a uh, test. Uh, yeah. yeah. How are you? Now? Uh, Fine. Uh, I'm absolutely okay. Is, is it yours? Yeah. Uh, but you should sign your name here. In no this problem. Door, okay. No problem. Uh, okay. So I'm okay. Uh, uh, okay. Good. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Date today is today the is the eighth. No, The ninth. Yesterday. <laughs> okay, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Great, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay, so we're all clear. <laughs> That's class. I would have been so sad if I had it. Not even worried too much about the health. Just being quarantined for two weeks would not be ideal. So, um, happy days, happy days. That's the end of my experience getting pulled and... Um, you know for the coronavirus test to be honest it's fantastic you know this is clearly why um, China have dealt with it so well you know most provinces in China now haven't had a new case for like a week um, Wuhan and Hubei province is still getting smashed a little bit but that that makes sense because there's just so many people infected in that area but all these precautions are clearly paying off dividends because you know, they've really got it under control and I really don't know whether any European country is going to be able to match this as well as just like the, the, the citizens mindset about um, following advice and um, taking the precautions that they need to be taken because uh, it's very serious, you know, um, this is going to affect the world massively in 2020 and, and possibly run into 2021. So it's pretty scary, pretty squarey, squarey, huh. but this is my, uh, official report showing that I'm all good all good to go COVID-19 RNA whatever that is but yeah happy days I'm gonna get myself home because got some video making to do there you have it there's my three-day experience um, getting pulled over at a toll booth and uh, getting tested for coronavirus as I said before I think it was a really good thing at first I was a little bit 
you know, kind of annoyed about it. Um, I was a bit tired. My emotional reaction got a hold of me. But when I came to think about it, I thought it's actually a really good thing that I'm able to get this out there because there won't be many people that are fully documenting it. You might have seen online like a couple of snippets of videos of people getting quarantined, etc. But I don't think there's you know, I don't know, I've not seen, maybe you can correct me down in the comments if you've seen like a full documentation on, um, you know, this sort of situation. So I hope you did enjoy the video. Uh, I certainly had an interesting experience anyway, one that I'll remember for the future. Um, if you did like it, please let us know by smashing the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated to uh, help this get out there because no doubt this video will be uh, demonetized. Anything to do with the virus is getting demonetized. So you know, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Comment down below sort of what you think and how it differs to your country. And uh, yeah, share this for your friends if you would do so, because it does help to get the video out there. Subscribe if you haven't already. And that's enough talking. We'll see you in the, see you in the next one. Until next time, bye-bye for now.